Now, a man from Hertfordshire who was paralysed from the neck down following a cycling accident five years ago is doing a fitness challenge for comic relief. Ray Salim from Potter's Bar was injured in 2017, but regained the use of his limbs through intensive rehabilitation. Today is the launch of the Red Nose Day Appeal, and Ray joins me on the line now. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for joining us on the show this morning. So what are you going to be doing there for comic relief, my friend? Well, um, I did a challenge last year, and it really got some good traction. And I think uh, this year we've just got to see how we can go one step better. So this year, to support the four causes that Comic Relief um, chat that, that they work with and they support big time, um, I'm doing a quad challenge in our local gym, so um, in Fursfield, Potter's Bar. So the idea is to bring the community together and um, raise awareness and hopefully raise as much money as we can for the four great causes. And this is all the more incredible because of what happened to you five years ago. Can you tell us about the accident? Yeah, it was uh, amazing. Um, I was on a mission to try and lose weight. At that time, I was just coming under 120-odd kilos and midlife crisis, I think it was, trying to think I can go one way or the other. Um, Got a bike and just started using it for once. Um, Took it out of the garage and... uh, um, went down the road and basically just clipped the curb, uh, clipped the curb and I went head over, um, smashed my face into the concrete and the body came over and it, um, it broke my neck. I uh, had severe facial injuries. Um, my skull was cracked, um, brain leakages, broken nose and the vertebrae in my spinal cord had gone into my spinal cord itself and uh, oh. yeah i was paralyzed from the neck down instantaneously um just from a very simple uh, little bike accident uh, and i was very fortunate you know uh, people came uh, there was a, a neighbor who basically came and that lady happened to be a nurse um a healthcare assistant which probably saved me from what would have been a complete uh, paralysis uh, for, for life because she, she knew what to do. And uh, from, from that point onwards, I'm indebted, I think, to the NHS and uh, to all the fantastic healthcare workers, assistants, clinicians, because, uh-huh. um, yeah, they, they managed to recover. They did a whole lot of series of um, uh, surgeries on me. I've got titanium in my skull at the moment is fully repaired titanium clamps down my spinal cord uh, holding it all together and um yeah i was told i was lucky to be alive i was uh, barely breathing at the time and um ray, 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 ray. how much of your pretty serious how much of your mobility have you been able to recover thankfully all of it um it was i was told i was not going to walk again i got i went to barnet hospital um they moved me down to royal london um because it was too complex and uh, they managed to say that i could breathe now and eat unaided um that was as, probably as far as it's going to go um but i'll be kind of wheelchair bound for the rest of my life um mm. a few weeks later i managed to see a flicker in my toes and from there, um, you know, I've, I'm a ma- uh, father, as you say, three children, um, and I used everything in our powers to try and get that, you know, asking the question, what if, what if, and uh, it, it kind of like went from the left leg to the right leg and um, the arms, and I was, you know, they put me into a rehab unit in Stanmore, and there um, was where the recovery continued and uh, yeah it was just constant consistently in the gym and all um, i mean and this means it's it's all it makes it makes it even more incredible that you're able to do this challenge that you're going to be doing for comic relief when you consider that everything that you've been through you did some amazing fundraising for comic grief relief last year i mean how much yeah. have you raised so far i mean so for comic relief last year i set out to raise initially set out just to raise a hundred pound um then went to 500 it ended up about 1600 i think it was um but i've done a whole lot of series of challenges after coming out of covid um i've support a lot of other charities um with the disabilities with wheel power um back up and everything else and cancer research all of these mean a lot to me and in the end you know I'm really astounded by all the support. I managed to raise over 10,000 oh, last year with all of the, these charities. And 
there's only one way to do it again. I'm, I'm trying to give back, you know, just being eternally grateful for the ability to move. Um, you know, being in a hospital bed when you are looking and you can't move and you can see a patient getting out of their bed um, unaided, uh, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a huge thing to, to say that you can now move and just eternally grateful for the ability to do that. It's, a, it's, a, it's an unbelievable story, Ray. It really is. Um, how can people support you? you? Um, I've just set up a Just Giving page uh, for Comic Relief um, and we are going to be running this event, I think it's going to be March the 12th and March the 13th, where we're running a series of classes. So I'm doing a quad challenge myself where people can come in and join at Fursfield and we're doing back-to-back classes. Um, so all the regulars, the hit, the spinning, the um, uh, boxing and all the rest of it, um, where people can come in and donate to Comic Relief, get themselves sponsored and yeah it's just a case of seeing how much we can raise and uh, have a bit of feel good as well uh, at the same time you know and encouraging everyone else to do their own little thing um i i chose this specifically because it has so many connections to myself and my recovery you know uh, along with the health it was also a lot of the financial issues of coming out of recovery and dealing with all of these type of things my child also um looking into uh, children and poverty, I could relate to all of these issues and, and wanting to be a role model for them as wow. well. Um, just well, Ray, to try and get them you, to support. Well, let me just say, you certainly are a terrific role model and we wish you all the very best with this challenge. Thank you so much for joining us on the show Thank this morning, you. Ray. Cheers, Ray. Thank you, Andy. Thanks for, a lot. For more, Cheers. for more information, uh, go to www.comicrelief.com forward slash Red Nose Day. And we wish Ray all the very best with that unbelievable challenge he's going to be doing.